Hello everybody, welcome back to our discussion in Precalculus. For this video, I am going to talk about evaluating logarithms. To evaluate logarithms, the first step is to rewrite the argument x as power of b, that's b raised to y is equal to x. And then we use previous knowledge of powers of b to identify y asking to what exponent should b be raised in order to get x. Okay, so to illustrate this one, let us answer some few examples. Okay, so we have here four examples and let us evaluate the following logarithms. For number one, we have the logarithm with base 64 of uh, the logarithm with base 4 of 64. Okay, so first, we need to write this uh, as, uh, say, let us define this as y. We have y is equal to the logarithm with base 4 of 64. So basically, we are solving for the value of y. Okay? So let us rewrite this or let us convert this one into its exponential form. Since the base is 4, so the base of the exponential form is 4. This is raised to y is equal to 64. Okay? So basically, we are looking at this equation now. For the left side, we have 4 raised to y. For the right side, we have 64. In order for these two terms to be equal, so we are asking what number must 4 be raised to get 64? We know that 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. So basically, in order for us to get 64, the value of y should be equal to 3. Okay, so we can actually rewrite this as 4 raised to y is equal to 4 raised to 3. Okay, so basically when the bases are equal for the two sides of the equation, we can equate the exponents together. Okay, so basically y is equal to 3. Therefore, the logarithm of uh, with base 4 of 64 is equal to 3. Okay? For number 2, okay, we do the same. So, we let y be equal to the given logarithm in base 1 to 1 of 11. So, we have 121 raised to y is equal to uh, 11 so what happens here okay so 121 is basically uh, 11 raised to 2 right okay this is 11 raised to 2 so 121 raised to y is we can write this as 11 raised to 2 y okay this is equal to 11 now we have the same basis we can equate the exponent so we have 2y is equal to 1 because the exponent of 11 is 1. And then we solve for y by dividing both sides by 2. So we have y is equal to 1 half. Therefore, the logarithm with base 121 of 11 is equal to 1 half. Okay? So let us go to problem number 3 using the same. Uh, step we have y is equal to the logarithm with base 3 of 1 over 27 so we have 3 raised to y is equal to 1 over 27 we know that 1 over 27 is 27 raised to negative 1 but we know that 27 is 3 raised to 3 so basically 1 over 27 can be written as 3 raised to negative 3 okay so because uh, when the exponent is negative we get the 
reciprocal. This becomes 1 over 3 raised to 3 or 1 over 27. Now since the bases are equal, we can now equate the exponent. So y is equal to negative 3. Therefore, we have the logarithm of 1 over 27 with base 3 is equal to negative 3. And for the last example, we have y is equal to the logarithm of 1 over 32 with base 2. So basically, we have 2 raised to y is equal to 1 over 32. 32 can be written as 2 raised to 5. So this is 1 over 2 raised to 5. Or this whole thing is 2 raised to negative 5. So we have 2 raised to y is equal to 2 raised to negative 5. Therefore, y is equal to negative 5. And we can say that the logarithm of 1 over 32 in base 2 is equal to negative 5. Okay, so that's how we evaluate logarithms. It's pretty simple. Uh, we have to know the some basic uh, exponents, uh, laws of exponent here. If you need to go back and uh, read about the laws of exponent, we are already done uh, lecturing them in chapter 1. You can go back to chapter 1 and recall the uh, laws of exponent that are being used here. More specifically, the law of exponent that has been used is the one with the negative exponent. Okay, so I hope you get that one and I will see you in the next video.